Thank you for joining us. I'm Cindy Sexton. And I'm David Carroll. In our news this evening, a Hamilton County man missing since late Sunday night has been found alive. 38-year-old Chad Cook was last seen riding his dirt bike with friends on Signal Mountain. Channel 3 reporter Natalie Potts is live in Marion County and has more on today's discovery. Quite good news, Natalie. Tell us about it. That's right, guys. We are just thrilled that Chad Cook has been found safe and sound just moments ago. They brought him up here in a Jeep. He stuck his hand out the window, gave us a thumbs up as they drove by. Then they took him out, loaded him onto the stretcher into an ambulance where they are taking him to be checked out. He looked to be OK, just a little dehydrated, obviously worn out. He's been in the woods for three days. His mother, Debbie Williams, broke down in tears when she first heard her son's voice on the phone this afternoon. You have to remember the last time that she spoke to her son was around 2 a.m. early Monday morning, and that's when he called her. He was lost in the woods and had been for several hours. His friends had left to go get a truck because his dirt bike broke down around 6 o'clock earlier in the night. So uh, his phone died shortly after that, and his friends who left to go get help just could never find him again. Uh, crews have been volunteering their efforts, combing through the woods day and night. They did find his truck and his bike, but not him. I'm told that they did find him about six miles from where his bike was located along Suck Creek. They believe he was walking along that creek, very jagged edges, steep terrain, big rocks, not easy to walk by any means. And so investigators found him down there by the creek about six miles from from where we are standing right here uh, in Marion County. So he was thrilled to see investigators. He was actually leaving a trail of sorts, uh, a piece of his helmet, a piece of his clothing. And, and and I heard from his mother at one point, some sticks pointed together in an arrow. He was trying to help deputies find him and find his location. And he did just that. And he is being checked out right now. And of course, we will bring you the latest information coming up tonight at 530 and 6. But for now, reporting live in Marion County, Natalie Potts, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. So good to report.